General Science, Standard 6, Chapter 3, Diversity in Living Things and Their Classification. Let us continue with the classification of plants. According to the period of their life cycle, plants are classified as annuals, biennials and perennials. The life cycle of plants like jowar, sunflower is completed in one year. These plants are called annuals. The life cycle of plants like the carrot, beetroot is of two years. They are called biennials. Shrubs like the hibiscus and oleander and trees like mango and gulmohar live for several years and bear flowers and fruit. They are called perennials. Can you tell to which part of plants are butterflies and insects attracted? Right, it is flower. Plants that bear Flowers are called flowering plants. While the plants that never bear flowers are called non-flowering plants. Non-flowering plants may not have organs like roots, stem, leaves. Do you know the world's largest flower is found in Indonesia. The diameter of the flower of the plant Rafflesia arnoldi is about 1 meter. The world's smallest flower is of the plant called Wolfia or duckweed. Its diameter is as small as 0.5 mm. We see Different plants growing in different places around us. Plants can be classified according to their habitat or the place where they grow. Land, water, marshy areas, deserts and even a big tree are the various habitats of plants. Diversity and Classification in Animals Different animals have developed different shapes to survive in the environment. There is a great variety in the body structure of animals too. The amoeba that cannot be seen with our eyes, the huge elephant, the small snail, the fish that swims in water, a kite that flies high in the sky, butterflies that flit around flowers, a house lizard that crawls on a wall are all animals. Each has different characteristics. Animals have body parts like a head, a neck, a torso, a tail and limbs for movement. They have various organ systems which carry on various functions inside their body. In this respect too, there is a lot of diversity in animals. We see a variety in animals with respect to their food as well. Since animals depend on others for their food, they are found in places where food is available. Different animals have different methods of obtaining and eating food. This too leads to differences in their body structure.